Hello and welcome to my tutorial training on how to sell your products at Clickbank. Today is part 10. Congratulations on making it this far. We're going to complete the sales funnel. Okay, let's get started. Head over to your dashboard and under your my products page here. From the last video, we set up three products, the front end, upsell and downsell. And today we're going to connect them all together in the sales funnel setup. And to do that, click on add new and upsell flow right here and give this a sales funnel name and then click on save. Okay, so here's what it looks like, the sales funnel visually. And up here it gives you this passing the CBF parameter. You don't need to mess around with this unless you're a developer or you're working with a plugin or system that requires this. Otherwise, you don't need to mess with this. And down here we have upsell number one. Click on add offer. Okay, in this pop-up window, enter in your upsell URL here. So this is my upsell URL, my one-time offer. So let's copy this, paste it here. And I don't have a mobile pitch page, but the mobile version of your sales page. And down here, add product. So make sure you add your upsell number one product. So I actually don't have uh, any of my demo products approved because I didn't submit them, but these are my older products that were approved and activated. So in this example, I'm just going to add this one right here. And once you add in a product, it will give you more of these options down here. And you can set a different uh, commission rate if you want. So here's the important step, the upsell link generator. So this is your buy link right here. So for your buy button, you need to add this link. And then the no thank you link is down here. So ClickBank doesn't really make it convenient since they don't give you your own buy buttons or your own HTML codes to set up your buy button. So you need to add this manually. So let's head over to Composer Editor, HTML Editor here. And I'm just going to insert in my own buy button. I have an entire tutorial training on how to set up and use a Composer in my previous tutorial training. If you haven't watched that yet, that will go over how to set up your sales page with Composer. Anyways, I'll click here to insert an image and then navigate to the image file. So I got my buy button right here as an example. And there it is. And now we need to add a link or make it turn into a link. Actually, this is not my upsell sales page. This is my front end. So let's copy this. And let's go over here. This is my actual upsell page. Let's delete this and paste in button right here. Okay, now let's click the button right here and click on this link icon and then add your link from Clickbank. So right here, the accept link. So it's a pretty complicated wording. This is the buy link. Okay, let's paste it in here. So this is if they want to buy your upsell. Now let's copy this, copy, and then overwrite or replace all the other buy buttons on your sales page here for the upsell. So find all of them. You can actually use this one if you want to, or use whatever buy button you want. I'm just gonna replace it. So control V or click on paste. And then let's double click to make sure the link's there. Yep, there it is. So let's replace all the other links or the, all the other buttons you see. So delete. That was from my previous tutorial, setting up the buy button with Word Plus. So I just replaced it here. Okay, now the important thing is the no thank you link down here let's highlight this click on link and delete any previous link if there's any and copy the decline or this is the no thank you link and then copy and then paste okay so now we have the no thank you link and the buy button links set up for the upsell so let's click on save Okay, so the next step is if you have another upsell, then you would add another offer right here. So if they accept it or they bought the upsell number one, you can show them upsell number two. 
But in this example, I don't have an another upsell. I only have a downsell. So that's what we need to do down here. So if they decline, so if they see this page, they don't want this offer, they click here, no thank you. Then they can see the downsell. So click here to add in your downsell product. Okay, so once again, this is my downsell, but you can sell totally different products. Upsell, downsell is up to you. So make sure you enter in the correct uh, downsell page URL here, select the correct activated product. So again, this is just my example. I'm just gonna do 75% and then make sure you copy the correct links or you can just click here, copy and head over to Composer. Open up the downsell page. And once again, if there's any other previous buns that you don't want, you can insert a new one. Okay, and now we can uh, double click or click on the link up here and delete any, if you see any previous links, just delete it and then paste in the ClickBank accept link and then click OK. And now let's copy this and let's replace all the other buttons. So we see another one right here, let's delete this backspace, paste, and you can center it right there click on this align center so let me just do another example down here delete paste and there it is okay let's go back here and copy the decline highlight the no thank you link delete any previous link if there's any paste click ok and there it is Okay, save everything and then go to your FTP program and then simply highlight everything. You can drag and highlight everything or control A and then drag it over here and let's replace everything. And this will upload all of your files to your server. So now we have the upsell and downsell set up. And you will see, may see this icon here. It's still waiting for approval. And if you have more upsells and downsells, you can conveniently add them just like the previous example. Now there's still one more thing we haven't done. That is to add the buy button to the main page, to the main sales page, to get your buy button link on your front end product. So here is the how you do right here. And I'll leave a link to this page, creating your payment link. So let's copy this. Let's head back to my product page listing here. Let's paste it up here, but don't navigate to it. So here it is, the so vendor. You have to replace this with your account name, user ID. So that's my user ID. And then CB item. You have to replace this item with the front end or whatever item you're trying to sell. So right here, number five. It's my demo front end product. So that's what I will put up here. And if you navigate to the link, it'll say the product is inactive because I haven't submitted it yet. But if you navigate to it and if it's approved, you will see your product. Okay, so let's copy this. Go to Composer. So find your main front end buy buttons. Click on link and then paste in your payment link right here. And then just simply copy this and override it with any other previous payment links. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's save it. And then again, make sure you upload the new sales page. Okay, and that's pretty much it for setting up the sales funnel. We have all the buttons are added, the sales funnel connected, just have to wait for the approval. Okay, so this concludes the everything pretty much about setting up your product at ClickBank. I hope that wasn't too complicated. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks so much for viewing. Be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more internet marketing tips, tricks, and tutorial trainings. Thanks so much for viewing. And until next time, happy marketing.